This video is sponsored by Advix. With over 30 years of OE expertise, Advix engineers and manufactures the aftermarket's most advanced, ultra-premium brake products. Visit AdvixAftermarket.com to learn more. Okay, here's the situation. You've got a vehicle in your bay, and you notice that the brake booster is not working. And that's the customer's complaint also. It's a hard brake pedal. And you look inside the brake booster, and you notice oil. But then you start following that line from the brake booster to the engine, and you notice it's not connected to the intake manifold, but instead it's connected to a round cylinder on the exhaust camshaft cylinder head. Well, what could it be? It's actually a vacuum pump. And that vacuum pump is designed to produce vacuum for the brake booster and other items on the vehicle, like the turbocharger wastegate that use vacuum pressure still. Why? Well, a lot of more modern efficient engines don't produce enough vacuum when the throttle is closed. So what's the failure mode with that pump? Well, usually what happens is you have the engine on one side, the vacuum pump on the other, and in between there is the shaft and the seal. When the seal starts to fail, oil gets sucked from the inside of the engine, into the pump, and then into the brake booster. This can happen very quickly depending on the failure of the vehicle. You can find these types of pumps on Chrysler vehicles, Ford vehicles, VW vehicles. Basically, anytime you're dealing with a smaller engine that might have a turbocharger and direct injection. So it's critical that you solve that issue with the pump before you replace the brake booster or even a master cylinder. This way, you're going to come to the root cause of the problem and resolve it for the customer. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.